What's up, Military Millionaires? I'm your host, David Bray, and I'm here with my co-host, Alex Felice, who is uh, hanging out in Belize, making me jealous today. But today we have the one and only Uncle G, Grant Cardone, the master of all things 10X on the podcast today. So I have been following Grant for... I don't know, four or five years, enough to the point where my wife used to get mad at me for watching Grant Cardone's YouTube channel laying in bed at night and tell me that I had to pay attention to her. Um, I didn't do that very often. I, I watched a lot of YouTube. So uh, I have been to his 10X Growth Conference in Miami. I have gone and read a lot of the books and I'm, I'm just a big fan of the marketing platform and, and real estate and education and everything that he talks about. Uh, so this is just really cool for me. Uh, I'm trying not to fanboy too hard, but uh, Grant, thank you so much for joining us today. Welcome to the Military Millionaire Podcast, where we teach service members, veterans, and their families how to build wealth through personal finance, entrepreneurship, and real estate investing. I'm your host, David Pere, and together with my co-host, Alex Felice, we're here to be your no BS guides along the most important mission you'll ever embark on, your finances. Vehicle one, you're clear to depart friendly lines. Roger, Vic One, Oscar Mike. Yeah, I, I appreciate you guys having me and, and uh, opening opening me or your audience up to me and sharing your audience and thinking enough of me to trust me um, with your audience. I appreciate it. Absolutely, brother. So I know uh, I was looking through some of these pictures. Uh, we're gonna cut right to it here. Uh, this is so I saw the pictures Annie sent me of the building or one of the buildings that your new fund is kind of talking about. Um, this is like the sexiest building I think I've ever seen. <laughs> and when I was telling Alex, I was like, "Man, this is this is a beautiful, beautiful property." Um, so I'd be curious to hear a little bit kind of about the about the deal and what the what the fund well, is. You well, yeah, and, and before before we go into that, uh, you know, I was telling you guys before we started about my regret of not being not not signing up for the military and doing a couple of years. And and uh, I love Alex said, "What would you say about a war? A little war goes a long way." <laughs> a little war goes a long way, my friend. That that's crazy, man. Like you know, the fact that I didn't serve, dude, it feels like I didn't, you know, do my part. And and that camaraderie that that I see you guys have with one another, those memories, the good and the bad. I'm sure there's a love hate thing going there, um, like everything in life. But you know, to at least you know you you pay you paid the price to 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 fight for our freedom. And I just want to thank both of you for doing that and. And in, in, in saying that, like some, some of what drives me is, you know, I was, my, my dad died when I was 10 years old and I was raised by a single mother and I couldn't help my mom. And my mom was worried about money every day. There was nothing my mom was worried about more than money fucking every day. And she worried about us, but as soon as she worried about us, she's like, if something happens to them, how am I going to pay for it? Hospitals, cars, car wrecks, jail. Like my mom worried, had to worry about everything. Food, housing, air conditions, water, and I remember I'm a twin, and my mom used to my mom used to think that if we would both piss at the same time, it would save her water bill. And so, um, you know that that was a very defining uh, four or five years for me in my life as a young teenager, and I couldn't help her. So by the time I was 15 years old, I'm like, you know what? One day I told her one day, I said, I'm gonna grow up. I'm going to get rich as fuck. And I'm going to help other people. I didn't know what that meant then. I just, I just said, it's one of those dumb ass things you say as a kid, you know? I had no idea whether, whether that was a thousand dollars or a thousand million. I didn't even know what the numbers were. Well, over the last, you know, 35 years, man, I made that, I made what I told her, I made come true a couple of times. Uh, we have $4 billion worth of real estate assets today. I got a company in there that does $100, $150 million a year of sales over the internet. And I built a massive platform that's getting bigger every single day. And I created this, this um, investment platform. So people that were just like me when I was 15 years old, and just like my mom when I was 15, can now invest in the best trophy, institutional quality, cash flow producing real estate uh, available today. 
Okay. I'll, I'll just show you a picture. The picture you're looking at is this. <laughs> this deal is this deal is $260 million. And just so while everybody's watching this, you cannot fake real estate. You can fake a lot of shit in life. You cannot fake, you know, everybody's faking filters and shit on online boobs and butts. And um, I mean, Alex, you know, Alex worked out before this, got his little pump on, probably eating some protein. <laughs> You know, you wish you wish this is just all me, baby. Yeah. So, so I went, you're right. I'm envious then. And and so, um, you can't fake real estate. That's a real address. It's a, it's a, you you can fake a lot of things in life. You cannot fake a real, a real, a a real address. Los Olas walk, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, uh, 97% occupied. It'll do five or 6% cash flow in year one. The deal's two hundred sixty million dollars. It's going to record. It's going to record in a in a uh, documented uh, public sale. I'm going to put debt on it of about a hundred and eighty million dollars on my name. I don't know how many how many of your audience can go get a loan for for an eight ball. Um, and then I'm going to write a check for the other eighty million out of my checking account, buy and close the deal. And then my friends can invest alongside me, starting with a total of, okay, I don't know if you got a drum roll over there, $1,000, okay, $1,000. Any family in America, anybody can come up with a grant. I know there's some people that are like, man, I can't even find a grant. Anybody can come up with a grant. You could be broke and come up with a grant. And what that thousand dollars gets them is passive income and investment in a trophy property. This has never been done before, by the way. I know you guys think people can invest in real estate like this. This has never been done at this level ever. This kind of asset, the average family in America, even wealthy families will never get access to this deal. That's more than rent per month. That's more than the rent per month. Yeah. Yeah. It rents for 20. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So so the average the average wealthy family in America would never get that opportunity. I'll even say this. You could be on the four of the Forbes 400 list and never get a chance to buy that deal. And the reason I'm saying that is because wealthy families don't get those deals. Who gets those deals is uh, multi hundred billion dollar institutions. And this is something that most Americans don't know. There's the poor, there's poverty, there's poor people, there's the lower middle class, the middle class, the upper middle class, the rich, the super rich, the wealthy, the super wealthy, okay? And then there's a whole nother sector above the super wealthy called the institutional wealth. Now I'm talking about trillion dollar companies. Now I'm not talking about Elon's money. I'm talking about people that could write a check and cash Elon, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg. uh, Who can we add in there? And Warren out with one check. And it happens every day. There's two companies on this planet called Blackstone and Vanguard that own $40 trillion of assets. $40 trillion with a T. I will end up selling this and my entire portfolio to one of these behemoths. And so what I'm doing is I'm not just buying a piece of real estate and saying I'm going to sell it for a profit. I'm collecting a portfolio, massive, multi $40 billion real estate portfolio. I'm going to mass a bunch of these together, and then I'm going to go choke out one of these whales. Grant, you know what I think um, resonates your style with our community so much, the real estate community, uh, the, the military community, is you said it with this property is uh, you keep it real as fuck. And that's what military people, that's what draws us together. That's why when you go to a conference, all the military people find each other together because we're raw, we're real. And I love that a a troop, an enlisted guy can come in and buy a piece of this with you. And I think that's why, I don't know how much, I don't know how much outreach you do with the military community, but I think the styles resonate uh, maybe more deeply than you realize. Yeah, well, thank you. And and we don't do enough for each. We've given uh I know that my hero ticket that I gave that that I got to you, David. Uh we try to do as much as we can for first responders, military, police, firemen. Um, still don't do enough, but I know like Cardone University, that that's a program I've been selling for forty and fifty thousand dollars to companies for 20 years. 
We give that to military. Grant Cardone, if you go to Cardone University, CardoneU.com forward slash vets, completely free. CardoneU.com forward slash vets. And the other thing I'll do, anybody that puts in a thousand dollars from your community, I'll I'll give them a virtual three-day virtual pass to my real my next real estate summit. So guys, anything I can do to serve the community, um, I don't do handouts, but I do give hand ups. Okay. And this vehicle that we've created, I had six lawyers. I met with six lawyers and an SEC lawyer. And they said, our recommendation, you're too high profile. You, 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 you're on, you're on, uh, you're on social media. You're a fucking noisy guy. Do not do this. And I'm like, fuck you guys. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it now. Cause you told me not to. So um, we opened this Friday. This, this, this is um, Friday at four o'clock. Today's Tuesday. I get what's today, Tuesday, Wednesday, yep, Wednesday. We had almost $50 million come in in five days. What's the total raise? Uh, 75 million from the non-accredited. Easy. Wow. So, um, and you know, it takes, look, the, the other thing is people that take their time, you guys don't understand, it took me nine months to get this approved. Nine months I've been working on this project, wasted $300,000 in nine months. Now here's the crazy shit. If I would have made an accredited fund, and we have an accredited fund for this too, okay? It takes me nine minutes to get an approval, and it costs me ten thousand bucks. Uh, unaccredited, non-accredited investors like herding cats. And, well, it's just like you know they can't believe they're getting this opportunity because they've been hoodwinked and tricked and fucked so many times. I I was gonna say so I I opened the email right, and everybody's like. You know, when when you hear Grant Cardone, that the you, you are you are you're a behemoth in the industry, right? You're you're up there. Um, and I was reading through it, and I was like, "Oh, this is a really cool property. What's the opportunity?" Blah 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 blah. Thousand dollar minimum, and it just I mean, it totally blew me away. I was like, "Holy shit, this is amazing! Like, this is exactly what Grant's talking about. This is an opportunity to get into a asset that's sexy as shit for enough money that anyone can own a piece of it, have a piece of ownership, yeah. get into investing, and." You know, and the barrier to entry is lower than I've ever seen on a on a syndication or on a on a large raise deal by by far. And we we awesome. we got people buying, buying we got people doing one for themselves, one for a kid, one for another kid, one for mom, one for a dad, one for Christmas. Like they're like, fuck, I, I, I'm going to do this rather than buy a ping pong table. Great. I mean, is, this going, is this your plan going? Is this your plan going forward yeah. to uh to to deal with more um uh, yes. micro? Yeah. One one thousand percent. Look, I, I already raised money. I've raised seven hundred million from rich people uh, at 50 grand. At, I mean, 500 grand at a time. So I want to help the little guy. And the, and the reason selfishly that I want to do this is because I want people praying for me. I want Muslims praying for me, Pentecostals, Baptists. Fucking, I want the atheists praying for me. I want transgender praying for me. Like, please just pray for me. OK, I don't care who you pray to or what you pray to. I want to I want to fucking bet on every God. And and I want people pulling for me. The other thing, seriously, the other thing is that what happens is when people invest with me, they're more likely to do other stuff with me. When I start sending people money back and I don't screw people. You're going to you're going to go to my conferences and maybe, hey, maybe in eight years, if I run for president, if I've sent you enough money, you'll probably fucking vote for me, too. <laughs> oh, if that's not foreshadowing, then I don't know what is. No, he said it right here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this clip's going to go viral in eight years. Uh, man, so I know, I know you got a lot of things going on today, and obviously we don't want to steal a ton of your time. I do want to throw out there uh, while we're talking about how you align to the military that at this very conference where I keep throwing up the ticket, uh, if it's not very, I don't know how much more military you can get than uh, skydiving into a stadium to start an event, but uh, Grant literally dove into the backstage area, which was, uh, I, well, I don't have the balls to do it. That was, that was not a huge area to land in, so uh, that was super cool. But let, let me just say that, like, if I get a million people to give me a thousand dollars, guys, just so you understand, that's one billion in cash. One billion in cash. 
I can buy $4 billion worth of real estate. Okay. The 1 billion will pay out $60 million in cash flow to our investors a year. So every month, every month or every quarter, depending on what deal you're in, boom, you're getting a check, you're getting a check, you're getting a check. You're like, shit, I like this guy. The banks don't pay you shit. The banks are fucking people so bad right now. It is they they should be lined up and shot. Okay. The banks don't pay you shit. People are investing their retirement accounts and 401ks, IRAs. They're throwing that money into to fucking bullshit mutual funds and stocks. Uh, they lie about the performance of these stocks because they just remove them from the they were they take the bad stocks they just take out of the performance. They get rid of them and then they say, look at look at how good we did this quarter. You know, they just they tweak whatever they have to do to give you the numbers that you need so you guys feel safe. But you know, all you're doing is trading paper for another piece of garbage paper. In this case, what we're doing is trading paper. And I would tell every person listening to this right now, this is a rule I have in my life. And I, and I had nothing. I started with nothing. I didn't, Donald Trump's daddy didn't give me any money. Okay. <clears throat> Today, when I have a piece of paper, first thing I try to do is take and improve the quality of this piece of paper. And the only way to do that is not to save it. And it's not to put it in your, your vault. It's not to turn it into gold. Gold is basically useless. It is to take the paper and buy a building with it that, that has little baby pieces of paper. And so what I'm trying to do is get rid of cash. I've been saying this for 10 years now. You guys have heard me say it. Get rid of this shit. Convert it to a building that has little baby Benjamin Franklins. Uh, I think both David and I both agree with you. We we both have done syndications much smaller than and then this is this behemoth that you're buying. But uh, yeah, we we believe it in the same way. Uh, yeah. Trade trade cash in an inflationary environment, especially with low debt, uh, uh, cheap debt, buy debt and real assets yeah. to the moon, baby. To the moon, baby. <laughs> hey, better than Dogecoin. It, it, absolutely. Than, yeah, I mean, maybe maybe the Dogecoin thing happens. Maybe the crypto happens. Maybe all that Bitcoin and the Ethereums and the pet coin and the shit. But guys, it's not providing your families with cash flow. You said something along on the on the show a while back that really just I, I use it as a catchphrase uh, quite often. It's like you, you, there's no technology that's going to replace a roof. No, but no, nothing. Yep. Yeah, so I believe in it. We we both love real estate for the same reason. <laughs> I love the scalability of real estate. Yeah, yeah. You can scale it, and you can't scale one house at a time. So you guys out there, I know you guys are trying to not not you guys, but your audience is trying to find deals, buy deals. This is really hard, man. And it's getting harder to find deals. Um, so any of your, any of your audience that, that actually wants to throw some money in this deal, I'll include that three day summit. You guys got to come to that thing. I'll get you guys seat to it in person here in Miami, December 13th, 14th, 15th. Love to have you there. It's going to, the room's going to be 2000 people, real estate investors from all over the country. Uh, great people, everybody there trying to focus on, Hey, how did they get their asset class? Um, so I'd love to have you guys there. Love to be there. Where, uh, where, where should I put in the show notes? Where do they go to, to invest? Uh, uh, CardoneCapital.com. CardoneCapital.com. Easy. Great. We appreciate this so much. It's appreciate you guys. Pleasure talking to you today. Have a great day. Thanks guys. Appreciate it, man. Enjoy Thanks Brazil. 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 Belize. Belize. Belize, man. Shit. <laughs> Whatever. I'll take, I'll take you um, with me one day. Enjoy the I'll take sun. You with me one day. <laughs> thank you guys. Hey, David, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate you. Absolutely, brother. This has been good. Okay. Great right. to talk right. to you. Thanks. Thank you for listening to another episode about my journey from military to millionaire. If you liked it, be sure to visit from military to millionaire.com slash podcast to subscribe to future podcasts. While you're there, we'd love for you to rate the show. Give us a review on iTunes. Now get out there and take action.